Hi everyone, today I'm gonna coach you guys how to use uh, English pronoun. Salut mes amis, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Dans cette leçon, nous allons donc voir ensemble comment utiliser les pronoms. Mbote na bandeko nyo subo za wola nanga, lelo na ko otang sabino, ndenge ni to itiza ka ba pronoun, hein. Ba pronoun za ya ndenge na ndenge. So, wola ndi na video nanga mususu, na na explique, na na ndi ko lobe la ba pronoun. Alors, So, so comprendre te na za apu na ko ide yo. Guys, listen. You don't get it? I'm here to help you guys. Back in the day, uh, I didn't get it right. To be honest with you. Because English is not my first language. Alright? So, in case you don't get it, I'm here to help. Let's say uh, you struggle with, uh, let's see, French, English, Lingala, I'm here to help you. All right? So, yeah. So, we're going to look at the pronoun. A pronoun is a part of speech that is used in place of a noun. Let's say we're talking about uh, Amy. Amy is what? A female name. So, instead of saying Amy, I can use she. Instead of saying instead of saying um, instead of saying Kevin, I can say he or him. For Amy, I can say she or her. Herself. Right? So we have a different way of using the pronoun. The pronoun. Alright? In case you speak French. So when we look at here. We have, uh, today we're going to focus on only two of them. But I want you guys to see the main one we use, okay? Now, just to show you guys uh, the different uh, pronoun we have. We have like this, that, these, those, I, you, he, she, it, we, there. We also have mine, yours, he, her, ours, theirs, that, what, who, which, so. Now, today we're going to deal with pronoun indefinite. We're going to deal with this one. Okay? Now, um, if you study French, you're going to understand we deal with uh, gender. We have a uh, um, uh, le, uh, le, no, uh, le nombre, le genre, le nombre. So, French is a little bit different than uh, English, all right? So, you know, like in French, we say uh, when we use animal, we use uh, il or elle. It depends if it's a female or a male, all right? So, in English, we use it, okay? It depends. So, numbers change in the form of a noun, pronoun, adjective, or the verb to show whether there's one. Or more than one. All right. You see this one? In case you don't know how to pronounce it, it's like the weather. Some students struggle to pronounce this. Okay. So, numbers change in the form of a noun. Pronoun. You know, if you don't know how to pronounce this, think of professional. Professional. Professional, this one, noun. Some of you, you, you may say, okay, what's the difference between noun and the name? Don't worry, my friends. I'm going to go step by step, okay? Adjective or verb to show this one, like I say, weather, like the weather. But the sound is the same. There is one or more than one. Okay, the object. Object is a noun or pronoun which shows the person or the thing act up on by the verb. Okay, so here you're gonna see the the singular one. In case you don't get it, it's like uh, the pronoun indefinite. In case you speak French, and, but here we're dealing with the singular one. Singular means one each. Either, neither, or neither. Okay? 
So we come here again. We deal with the singular one. Okay. So no one, nothing. I know nothing. Nobody. Okay. So no one, nothing. Nobody. So think of one, number one, number one. Think of this one like no, no thanks, no thanks, right? So no one, no thing. You know here, right? This one like no, you see the way I pronounce here, no, no one, no thing, no body. So think of this like your body, you know, like your body, okay? This one thing, this one one, number one thing. Body. So when we combine it, the pronunciation, so no one, no thing, no body. Okay. We come here again. Remember this one thing, body, everyone, everything. Remember, every, 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 everyone, everything, everybody. So here the pronunciation is still the same on this. Okay? Everyone, everything, everybody. Okay? We come here. One. So we're dealing with the singular one. Uh, one, someone. So remember, remember this part and this part. So you know how to pronounce some, like some sugar, some water, some one, some wine. Okay. So here, one, like number one, one, some, one, some thing. Okay. We come here. So, we're gonna. I decided to give you guys some example here. Okay, and then we're gonna use the, the main sentence. Neither or neither. Abby, no. You see one? It's like no. No, her friends, but his book. Okay, so take a look. Take a look. So, when you take a look, there's a mistake. Because Abby is a female, not a male. So neither Abby nor her friend brought his book. So we have to fix this. We have to put her, her books. Okay? Okay. So we're going to put her. Okay? Okay. So... So, either Amy or the girls should explain their reason. Well, everyone who has the right answer, raise his hand. Okay. Either the production workers or the manager is expected to attend. When one works hard, he feel he deserve a raise, right? So I'm gonna go step by step, okay? Either I mean uh, neither or neither, Abby nor her friends put her box, okay? Either Amy or the girls should ex should explain their reason, okay? Well, everyone who has the right answer. Raise his hands, okay? So, either the production workers or the manager is expect to attend. When one works hard, he feels he deserves a raise, okay? So, let's see in case you don't get it right. Now, you see here, we use the pronoun, this one, we use this, uh, we use this, uh, 
we use this one we use the other one i'm gonna explain about the after okay because this one also act as a pronoun okay but i'm gonna explain to you guys after even this okay it's it's behavior like a pronoun okay so even some of them is here too but we're not gonna touch that we come here nobody understands kevin nobody understand him so in this case this is kevin right it's a man now it's the same sentence nobody understand kevin nobody understand him we're using this the subject here is singular is this one okay nobody understands him okay nobody understand amy nobody understand her so this is a noun and this is a this one so nobody understand her so we're dealing with uh, this this pronoun the pronoun and if you need, okay so nobody understand her okay nobody understand kevin and amy again nobody understands kevin and amy right so here you're gonna see kevin and amy are the nouns okay and this is the pronoun nobody understand them this one pronoun 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 but different one okay so we come here does anyone i agree with abby does anyone i agree with amy does anyone i agree with kevin does everyone i agree with abby and amy does everyone i agree with abby amy and kevin anyone can do this anyone can do this neither or neither of the computer works each of the worker gets an equal share so when you take a look we have anyone some of you may say then why do you, why do we use does because anyone is a singular okay singular equal one so that's why we use does we, you cannot say does uh, do anyone agree with abby no 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 so does anyone agree with uh, amy okay does anyone agree with kevin does anyone agree with abby and amy does anyone agree with abby amy and kevin okay does uh, anyone can do this anyone can do this neither or neither of the computer works okay don't get confused why i put s here because we're dealing with the neither or neither is here with that's why i end up putting this s here the subject here is not a computer each is a pronoun neither or neither is a pronoun anyone all these are the pronoun okay these okay the pronoun okay and include this one so we come here again anybody can re release music right now okay anybody can release music right now so here is the pronoun okay this one in case you don't get it i'm gonna talk about this later on okay in my the other video is gonna be part of the verb you're gonna understand it so in this case here we're dealing with the plural pronoun okay both few many several both few many several okay now many are called this one in, this one is in the past a few are chose so like choosing one in case you don't get it both right 
extremely well. Okay. So here is the plural form. That's why we put R instead of is. Okay, if you put is, is wrong. We put R. So many are called. A few plural are chosen. Okay, a few are chosen. Both write extremely well. Okay. Now we have a sometimes this one behave you as a singular or plural, okay? But it depends on how we use them. Some, most, any, no, uh, no one, or more, okay? So be careful. Same, same thing here. All of the snow has melt. All of the snow has melt, okay? All the snow has melt, okay? So be careful. All of the candy bars have disappeared. All the candy bars have disappeared. Okay? So here you have to watch out. Not has, but have. Okay? We come here. Now, you see, uh, when you watch my, uh, my the other video, I was talking about uh, the conjunction. Okay? Some of the conjunction behave you as pronoun. The pronoun interrogative, okay? So, some of them behave like that. So, we got what, which, who, whose, how, when, where, and why, okay? So, when you watch my other video, like uh, I said before, uh, I mentioned before, be careful. Some of these pronouns behave as a conjunction when you're using them in a sentence. When we combine um, simple sentence with uh, dependent. So, we have a depend uh, independent closet and dependent uh, classes so when we combine them we use a uh, conjunction sometimes we use semicolon okay? or colon so we come here where where are you from who are you what are you doing okay again where are you from who are you what are you doing where are you from? Who are you? What are you doing? You come here. Huh? When are you coming? I don't know why you have to go so early. I don't know why you have to go so early. Can you tell me how can I find King Street South? Can you tell me how can I find King Street Okay. So again, when are you coming? I don't know why you have to go so early. Can you tell me how can I find King Street South? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to stop here for today. So thank you so much. In case you don't understand, please email me or contact me. I'm going to try my best as I can to help you. So thank you so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.